A destructive pest in parts of eastern Canada appears to be eating away at our forests. Now researchers are hopeful the best defense against one predator is to unleash another. CTV's Atlantic Bureau Chief Krisa Najkate explains. These hemlock trees are under the lens for an invasive insect, almost invisible to the naked eye. It's a bit like an aphid that you'd find in your garden, but it but it, it behaves a little differently. It feeds at the base of hemlock needles. That's how we know that HWA is present on. Native to Eastern Asia, the hemlock woolly adelgid was first discovered in Nova Scotia more than six years ago. And for the first time have infested trees in the Halifax region. Just this past summer, we found it at one site in Bedford. So yes, indeed it is. It has progressed and moved within the province. The woolly adelgid will form this woolly mass on the tree branches, sucking nutrients from the hemlocks, with the trees dying in as little as three years. It's quite sad and devastating to see. We have some beautiful old growth hemlock forests in Nova Scotia and, and really in eastern Canada. There's some amazing hemlock forests. It's one of, it is our oldest tree. While pesticides can be one solution, researchers in Nova Scotia have another idea. You have to keep going back to treat those trees. So the other strategy they've used in the U.S. is to introduce a predator which feeds on HWA, which really corrects the problem. So this is a predator. The Laricobius beetle from Canada's west coast is now being introduced to the Kejimikujik National Park through a new pilot project. It will eat any woolly adelgid, and the only concern is if it can survive the east coast's wet and cold winters. There's so many HWA. There's millions of them feeding on hemlock right now. So. Um, these little beetles are, are, are tiny and they, it was exciting to see them right away start feeding on HWA. Plans are underway to release 3,000 Laricobius beetles in various parts of the province and results could take up to 10 years. If successful, the beetles could be used in other parts of Canada to fight off this invasive species that's here to stay. Krisa CTV News, Halifax.